Hello, hello. From Seattle to Kelly Snow. Bygones Variety Shop on Etsy. So, I want to go in and show you guys what I got going on here. Let me see what the problem is. Here we go. I don't know what it's waiting for, but it's being weird. Let's try it one more time. I like to talk to you guys while I'm doing it, but if I can't, well, that's okay too. There we go. It was being weird for a minute. Okay, so, you know, we're good to go kind of dull crazy, and uh, I wanted to have some packs where we could use for our dolls if you're into the dolls with me if you're not you don't have to use these for dolls it's okay but i do have one of the doll dresses left i had it several um listed but they sold out before i could do the video so here's one of them and i just want to show you how cute they are and i know that a lot of you girls want measurements because you might be using them for your dolls that you have but i don't know how to take measurements of the dolls i just put the ruler of the dresses i just put the ruler next to the picture and you know, basically, I'm just putting them in the shop so we can cut them up and use them for, you know, our journals and stuff. But there's a few of you that want, like, to do some for your covers or this or that or whatever. So I did um, put a ruler in, you know, some of the descriptions. Because I don't know what doll size this is going to fit, you know. So you kind of just have to just hope. <laughs> <laughs> basically if you have a doll that you wanted to fit hi Lori so this is one I know this is like the only doll dress I have left I think now this is the prettiest one I think Lori got a couple of them didn't you and then I got some cute little packs here we just went through my doll pages and stuff and I'm kind of doing a thing here so we can just have some doll packs Okay, so then here's the next stuff. Let me move this. I have several pink, and I have a couple red, and then several blue done up today. So these ones, if I can find where to open it, here it is. But it's pretty. It's pink and cream. And I think it has five or six different kinds. And I just put the link to my shop in the description box. I didn't do it to this specific listing because all the different colors so you can just kind of go look but i love this one because it has all the pink and cream stuff that we love this one's got a yard of the glittery velvet that we love and this is um, a vintage lace right here that i wrapped with i'm not quite sure how much is in here but you know they all have a yard or half a yard or you know something and that's pink seam binding from my shop and I have some of this pretty stuff there's three yards of this little alpaca little fibers that's really fun I think Lori likes to use this on her stuff hi Jennifer and then we have I think there's about three yards of this pink organza with some more pink little ribbon hi Sandy and then this is Sari Silk cream color, which I have a hard time finding. It's, it's kind of almost gold, but it's really pretty. And then with the pink, with the pink, I know I love the sparkly velvet. Yes, it's a thing, honey. It's a thing. If, it, if it's not a thing, I'm making it a thing. Because, <laughs> you know, I got to have that, especially for Christmas and stuff. I used to carry this, but you all didn't buy it. And I thought, y'all are nuts. So anyway, I use it and whatever. So maybe I'll bring it back and I'll start stocking it up. But I have some pieces left over from when it used to be. It is a thing, Sandy. We are so going to make it a thing. So anyways, I have pink bags. Several of them made up. And I just wanted to go through a couple because, you know, they're all different. So they're not all going to be the same. This one has pink satin for my um, a dress. And this one has just different laces and... This one's got some, ooh, I did, um, I do every year, every couple years, we do batches of dyeing. 
uh, muslin and such, and we make ribbon, which we're doing right now. Oh my God, I'd be so excited. I can't wait to show you guys these colors. But anyway, I'm not there yet, but we're doing it right now. So my, uh, my hands are pink. Look at, I found this pink, old pink egg dye. You know, what you put the vinegar in and all this stuff, but I'm using it for a fabric and I got it at the sale. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Anyways, I'm going crazy. I can't wait to show you guys what we're doing with it. But anyways, we're doing paper and envelopes and lace and just everything because it is the best color. I can't stand it. So I can't wait to show you. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. So I have pink. Um, It's a light blue and a dark red. And then, of course, pink and blue. And we're going to do purple. So I'm going to do pink, blue, and purple. And I don't know about the dark red yet. But, oh, my God, it's going to be so fun. You know how I do the ribbons every year. So when I get done, I'll show you all the rainbows. It's going to be so pretty. If you want a sneak peek, beg me. I'll show you. But, oh, my God, I can't stand it. It's so pretty. Anyway, this is vintage muslin that I dyed with pink um some baby pink dye it was really so it's really pretty i love it and the edges are frayed and then it's got just a, a little tiny bit of ink on it so it's really pretty i love and then i did put the three yards of the alpaca and then a double layered you know yard or two of this lace i can't remember what it is but it's all nice and then ooh, this one's pretty this was off of a um wedding dress sleeve so that was really pretty and i love the kind of creamy color and then I just put a white um chiffony little bow to hold it together I know well I I don't have it next video okay because I'm gonna do a bunch of these today next one I'll drag it unless Sean hears me and brings it in here but oh my god I can't wait to show you I can't stand it I can't stand it it's so pretty <laughs> but anyway here's these Okay, so you've seen two. I'll, I'll show you the red one. I love the red ones too, but the pink is always goes the fast end. So that's why I was doing the pink first. Because I really didn't do very many of these. I only did like seven or something of these pink ones. So. But anyways. So there's those. Some of them have, like this has a little bit darker shade. This is another wedding dress piece. This one has white, and I just tied it with a green little piece I had that I dyed. And I threw in some sequins just to throw them in there. But this one's hand-dyed, too. So those are nice. And this one has a really nice wide piece and some rosy seam binding and some um, darker stuff. This was... I think this was cherry Kool-Aid at one point. I think I was doing a couple years ago. So that's some left of that. But it's like a dark rose. It's really pretty. And it looks really good with ink. I just want to make sure you guys know that all these that I hand dye, they're really good with ink on them or even script stamping them. They look really good. Okay. So there's the pink. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. If you feel like bringing in any of the pink stuff, I'll show it. Because they're asking to see. Okay, so then we'll do the red. I love the red because the red has... This is from... I love this little vintage red and navy blue. Here it is. Okay, I'll show them the color. So this is ridiculous. Look how pink it is. <laughs> so we're doing lace paper envelopes like everything you could possibly imagine <laughs> this color oh my god sandy okay but okay i'm doing some but give me some with the coffee on it so they can see what it looks like with the coffee stain okay so and here it is so we're doing it plain look here's the sheets of paper but then we're sprinkling coffee on so i just want to show you what it looks like when you get some coffee on there, it looks so good. Look at how good it looks. Oh my God, you guys, look. Oh. <laughs> I love it so much, but okay, that's another video. So just hold on there. Take that back, that's another video. <laughs> that is pink. Yeah, you can. Oh my God, I'm telling you. No, but once you distress it, you got to put the ink on and stuff and get it all distressed and everything. I'm telling you, it's the best vintage pink. You know, with all the die cuts and stuff, use that. And you can't even get it to print out like that on your printer. You know, with these old vintage things that I have. 
you have to use neon ink, you know. So anyway, when I get some of that stuff, I love it because like this, these colors, you just don't find them right now, you know, like this stuff, it's real bright. Ooh, I love it. But anyway, okay, so the red ones, ooh, the red one, oh, this is cute. So I was doing strawberry shortcake, you know, this summer, and I have some leftover little pieces of strawberry fabric with navy blue back, and I just did it with the you know, picnic-y stuff. And then some red seam binding. And this. I have all the colors of the rainbow of the seam binding if you need it in my shop always. And I love this because it's got the green mixed in with the roses. I love that. And then I just threw in the sequins and then some red dots because you got to have red and white dots. This is all for like... What I'm doing these for is the baby dolls that I keep showing you guys. This is a cute baby doll trim for a dress. With this you need, with this, and then this is navy and blue. I mean, navy blue and red, which I love. And it looks really cute with the dollies that we're doing. And then here's some more red lace with gold. And this is gold, so I thought it would maybe kind of matchy-matchy. But you get a big piece. But, oh, it's all wrinkled from being in here. But it's a big piece, look. Nice big piece. Okay. Well, this is the way it looks, but it's this way. That was the back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So you get that. And then this one's a little bit different. This one has lace in it. Uh, red lace. And it has bumpies. Like the ball trim inside that one. And like I said, they're all different. So everyone's going to be a little different. So you could be safe in ordering two of the red and you would have, you know, different stuff. Some of it's the same, but this one has velvet in it and it has the lace in it and the ball trim in it. So that's nice. And then, ooh, there's another pink one. I love this pink. It's so pretty. I'm just saying. And then the blue, we have blue. And I want to show you guys these too, because I have a couple of these left in my shop. They're really cute. I had green and pink, but I think sometimes you guys are scared to order them because you've never seen what they were. This. Oh, right, Sandy. Oh, I hope your book's there for you. That'd be cute. Sandy won um, the Strawberry Shortcake Journal because she, I don't know if you're in the die cutters or the et cetera connections group, but anyways, Sandy helps out in group and does a lot of send outs for us and so she won the drawing every year i do a drawing for those girls and she won so it was a strawberry shortcake journal so this one has a bunch of different little it's got a little bag on the inside look sewn in the dress isn't that cute and then i put in a bunch of cute little look flowers little bows aren't these cute so i think there's a couple of these left little appliques go inside yeah, I think I have two or three of these left. I did not make these. These I just order and then sell. That is way too nice. I could never sew that. <laughs> That's why I make junk journals. <laughs> Anything that says junk in front of it, I can make. <laughs> Right? Okay, now the blues. The blues are pretty and they're all different. See, I love this. That's actually from Hobby Lobby. But they some of them have chiffon and they have that little blue wispy stuff and that blue cutie fabric is nice, you know. And some of them have this stuff and the navy seam binding. You know how it all is. And here's some cotton. This is nice cotton. Um, I love this stuff because we ripped this. We ripped this ourselves. And that's a vintage piece. Cotton ribbon. I love it because it looks really good with ink. And then you can bunch it up or you can use this for a closure. I like it bunched up like this and glued down and make little tags and little pretty stuffs. You know, so I love this blue myself. And then any seam binding that looks like this and has a pattern like this on the inside, that's vintage stuff. 
So I liked this, so I wanted to put it in. There's a couple big lace panels in here. And the fabric piece is pretty big. I'll show you. I like it just for background for the little dollies, like I said. But if you're not doing dolls, that's fine too. But that's what I'm doing this for. So you get a nice big, nice big piece. Right? Okay. And we have several of those listed in the shop too. And the link there is in the description box. And then I'll be back because I have some really fun Valentine's stuff to show you that we did. This is really fun, okay? Hey, I'll see you in a few minutes.